All right. It's 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., October 29. This is going to come out tomorrow, I think. 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I'm still thinking about what time it's gonna come out, what time I'm gonna schedule it because I'm not gonna be home tomorrow afternoon. So I'm gonna have to schedule this to get posted automatically around 5 or 6. First and foremost, obviously, I'm gonna say what's up to you guys, to all the new ones. Uh, welcome to the channel. To the old ones who have been waiting for this uh, video, what's up? Thank you very much for all for always watching my videos and supporting the channel. To those who haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. To those who have, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> all right. It's my birthday tomorrow, so it's my birthday right now. As you're watching this, happy birthday to me. Um, I'm now 23 years old. Uh, happy 23rd to me. It's been an awesome 23 years so far. <laughs> All right, disclaimer number one. I'm not gonna bullshit you this whole time. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I'm not gonna say anything that wasn't true. Um, if you don't believe me, it doesn't matter. This is something that happened six years ago. So it doesn't really matter. I have no, I have nothing to, you know, to take care of. I have nothing to protect. I'm just gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna tell you everything that happened that day or that game. But I think with the whole channel, the whole feel of the channel and all my videos so far, I think I've proven to you guys that I don't bullshit, that I don't sugarcoat or I don't make things more interesting by adding little, you know, bits and pieces. So I'm going to give it to you straight. This is the first and last time that I'm going to talk about this. Because all, all my close friends know. All my clo close friends know the real story. But to me, to come out in public, kasi syempre dami nagtatanong sa akin, di ba? Like, ano ba talaga nangyari? Magkano ba kinita ko? Honestly, kasi nakabili ako ng kotse in the day, in the week after eh. Tapos yung bahay, I think two weeks after pa dumating. <laughs> that was totally a joke, guys. That was totally a joke. But yeah, like, let's just be honest, man. People are asking me that. People are asking me why I choked. People are asking me why, what happened? At inista ako dati, maybe that has a part. Diba? I was I went up against Coach Ricky Dandan that year. Maybe that was something. Diba? It was Kiefer Ravenna on the other side. I don't know. Like, guys, and daming assumption. And daming nagtatanong sa akin. So I'm just gonna give it to you straight what really happened sa perspective ko. And then run with that story. If you're gonna run with that story, with this story, cool. If you're not, I'm gonna stick to my story because that's the truth. All right. This might be a long one, guys. This might be a long one. I'm not gonna lie. So here we go. All right. Ateneo UP. Ateneo UP. Um, it was in the second round. And I was having a very bad first round that season. I was a, I was having a very bad first round. I think in the first six games, I was averaging four or five points. Legit. Four or five points a game in my first six games. And then I exploded on my seventh game, on our seventh game. That was against Adams. So that was the bone. The bone. <laughs> that was the bonfire win. I had 28 that day. And then from then, medyo... I picked up the second half of the season. So during the second half of the season, I was more aggressive. I was more in rhythm. And like my confidence was there compared to the first round. We, we go up against Ateneo. Okay, I was at an all-time high. My, my confidence was at an all-time high. Coach Ricky Dandan, Coach Bob Perasol on the other side. Kiefer Ravenna, Von Pesumal, Chris Newsom. Uh, Thirdy Ravenna was also there. Rookie pa ata si Thirdy noon. Uh, Anton Asiscio, Aaron Black, Ponzo Gotladera, Nico Elorde. Those guys, diba? So... Um, all right, once we started the game, I started. I think I started. Yeah, I think I st No, 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 I came off the bench. Came off the bench that day. Uh, I came in, and for some reason, Coach Ray Madrid kept subbing me out. For some reason. Medyo bad trip ako noon. Um, in the first half, when he put me in, Coach Bo on the other side was experimenting. Because they felt like they were going to win. Alam ni Coach Bo yan. Coach Bo can't deny this. He was putting in third stringers, second stringers. So in short, he really thought na he expect he didn't expect us to get put up a fight. To be honest, yun yung na feel namin na kasi pinapasok ng mga rookie, de ba? Anton Asisio, my guy. Which by the way, kausap ko lagi yan habang nasa bubble ng 3x3. Anton Asisio came in that game. Sabay kami. Anton was guarding me. I was the senior. I was the star. A rookie was guarding me. I go to Coach Ray Madrid. I'm like, Coach. Time out. Coach, binabantayan ako ni Asisio. Bigay mo sa akin yung bola. I, ma, come on, just give me the basketball. Anton Asisio is guarding me. Let me go to work. Mikey, relax. Relax, Mikey, relax. Muna, relax. Coach, si Anton Asisio lang yun. Kaya ko na yun. Relax, Mikey, relax. Alright. 
game. Played like shit. First half. It was a forgettable first half. It really was. <laughs> Middle of the f second quarter, maybe. I asked for Kiefer. Sinabi ko sa kay Coach Ray, Coach Ray, akin si Kiefer. Like, I'm gonna guard Kiefer. Because I felt like I was the best shot at defending Kiefer. I'm not kidding. I know wala akong depends. I know I always say that. Pero, pag gusto ko, gusto ko naman. So, I, I, I was like, give me Kiefer. Tapos one time, no joke, <laughs> nakashoot kami, pababa kami. Sabi ni Diego, ito si Diego, competitive din, di ba? Mikey, Mikey! Sa akin si Kiefer, sa akin si Kiefer. Tinignan ko lang siya. Jake, ito ka kay Elorde. Huwag ka magulo. <laughs> To this day, na, na, natatawa siya doon. Kasi, gusto ko si Kiefer, bro. Jeg, kay Lorde ka. Like, get out the fucking way. <laughs> As in, during the game, I was like, get out! Maris ka dyan! Maris ka dyan! <laughs> Alam ni Jeg yan, ask him. So, I was like, akin si Kiefer. I couldn't score that much, but I was like, I'm just gonna defend Kiefer. And I'd like to say that I did a good job. You can't really stop a Kiefer event. All you can do is really contain him and be there. When he shoots the basketball challenge, diba? stay in front as much as you can, not foul. Diba? So I tried my best. Naman. And I think I did a good job. I did, I did a pretty good job. Naman. Um, so that's the first half. Second half, Jerry Gale Galearza was keeping us afloat. Kumbaga, we were down 6, down 8. It wasn't ballooning up to 12, 14. It was like 8, 6, 7, ganon. Guru 9 yung biggest lead ng Ateneo. Alright. The second half, lalabas pasok ako ni Coach Ray. I don't know why. But every time I came in, I was like, akin si Kiefer, akin si Kiefer. Okay? Depensa tayo, depensa tayo. Third quarter, I had 2 points late in the third. I had 2 points late in the third. I scored 2 points in the first half. I don't I don't remember how. I think it was one pull-up uh, step-back jumper. I think ganun lang eh. Third quarter, I still had two points. I was averaging maybe 15, 16, 17 points since nag breakout ako ng Adamson. Second half, to na. End of the third, parang semi clear out, drive ako gitna, and then parang fade away jumper over Nico Elordi ata. Okay, here we go. I made one. Start of the fourth, <laughs> dilabas na naman ako. So I was like, shit, dilabas na naman ako. No lie! I'm gonna show you the clip. I'm gonna show you the clip right here. Nung pinasa ko ko. Like, siguro 8 minutes, 7 minutes left in the 4th. Inaantok ako. Kasi hindi nga ako pinapasok. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look how sleepy I was. I was really sleepy. Okay? Come in. Ito na. Guys. Hindi kasi, ano eh. Like, ang naalala lang kasi yung free throws ko eh. We were down maybe 8 points. And then I just went off. I went off, man. Everything was just going in. 3-pointer, pull up, blah, 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 blah. And then I go to Coach Ray. Coach Ray! Ano? Anong play? Sabi niya, Mikey, kunin mo na yung bola, mag-isolation ka na. Yung gusto mo kanina. Sabi ko, Coach, si Newsome na yung bantay ko eh. Kanina si Asistyo. Ngayon si Newsome na eh. Like, I can't... <laughs> Pero Loki, I was still trying to attack. Guys, I was like, on. I was on. Newsome, Elorde, uh, Kiefer, whoever. I was on. I was on, man. So, so I was on an all-time high, like, yo, we can win this game. We can win this game. We were down one. <clears throat> we were down one. Okay? We were down one. Timeout kami. Down one. Sabi ni Coach Ray. Oh. Inbound, ah. Kunin mo bola, Jego. Jego. Handoff mo kay Mikey. Pag handoff mo kay Mikey, mag-clear out na kayo. Bigay nyo na kay Mikey yan. Ha? Down one lang tayo. Mikey, let's go. Diego, hanggang ngayon, alam mo. Alam mo to. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Binabantay na ko yung Newsom. Okay. Alright. Get the handoff. Take Newsom one-on-one. -on -one. Try to score. Down one tayo. Alright. Diego gets the ball. Mikey! Mikey! Handoff. Guys, this guy faked the fucking handoff he faked the handoff i'm not kidding i was like hello 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 kinakawa nun ano kinakawa nun this guy drove faked the handoff drove against elorde then shot a baseline jumper in my head i was like okay lang basta putang ina ishoot mo ishoot mo he missed it he missed the shot. Bola lang Ateneo. Down one. We make a stop. We make a stop. A clean stop. Okay? We 
we make a clean stop. Semi fast break kami pa kabila. Yung big man namin, forward pass kay Kyle Slaw. Kyle Slaw, drive, traveling. Traveling or offensive foul. It's not a turnover. I'm not kidding, man. These guys can't deny it. You all don't deny it. Okay? Hindi ko kayo sinisisi, ha? Kinikwento ko lang. Traveling si Kyle Slaw. Bola na naman natin. Ayan. It was like maybe 15 seconds remaining. Okay, foul na tayo. Wala na tayong choice, eh. Diba? We're down one, 15 seconds remaining. So, we come in. Foul! Kiefer. So, in my head, in my head, as Kiefer was walking to the free throw line, we can still get this overtime. Kasi we're gonna be down three. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a three on the other side. So, I was expecting a no-pressure shot. I mean, natin, no pressure yun eh. You're gonna go for the tie. If you miss the three-pointer, so be it, diba? It was a no-pressure shot. It was like, if it goes in, cool. If it doesn't, fuck, we lost the game. Or fuck, we lose the game. Off of Kiefer's uh, dagger free throws. Okay. Free throws si Kiefer. Guys, mintis pareho. Mintis pareho. Now, this is what I was saying in my LeBron video a couple weeks ago. When JR Galiarza got the rebound, JR Galiarza gets the rebound. I fucking demanded the basketball. I was like, JR, give me the fucking ball. As in, lumapit ako, kinuha ko kay JR. Okay? I was like, I will make this play. It is my responsibility as the senior, as the superstar in this team. Wink, 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 wink. I will demand this. Okay. Get the ball. Baba. I was against, up against the Sam. I was like, I, I don't want to go straight to the rim. Because like what I said during the LeBron video, okay, the best way to get a shot off was, for, was a pull-up jumper. Because if I go straight in, Baka masupal pala ko ni Chris Newsom or may big man doon and I'd have to pass the ball out and I wouldn't, I'd have to get, let go of the basketball. So like what I said during that LeBron video, I was gonna get, I was gonna take a jumper. A jumper was the best shot for an opportunity, for, for, for a possession like that. Boom, boom. Step back. Then I, step back. I always do that. Alam naman, like, that's one of my, that's one of the things I do naman talaga on a regular. Step back, shot, Foul. It was a clear foul. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Tell me if it's not a foul. Look at it. Clear foul. I didn't even hear the whistle. Kasi ang gulo eh. Nagkakagulo eh. As I shot it, I looked left. I went straight to the... Yung ganun. Yung barricade. And I was like, tumanun ako sa barricade. Nakaganyan ako. And then the late Coach Ramil Cruz... I love you, coach. You know that. Approaches me and says, Mikey, ate na to, ah. So I was like, ate na to. I don't miss free throws. I don't miss free throws. Like, like, I don't miss free throws. Like, free throws are, fuck, come on, man. I've been shooting free throws all my life. I don't miss free throws. Right when I got off the, 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 the barricade, I looked the other way, going back to the free throw line. The other way, was at the side. Oh my God! People were like, "Putang ina mo reyes, lol pak you are reyes." Everyone was like that. I'm not fucking kidding, bro. Legit, legit. I was like, oh, "Damn." Okay, okay, okay. Woo! In my head. Now this is not. I'm not justifying what happened, ah. Huh? But this is for real. In my head, I had three shots. In my head, I had three shots. Three shots. Okay. First free throw. This is when, uh, medyo tanga ako dito. Ha? Ang inisip ko, bago pa ako kabahan, tira ko na. Bago pa pumasok yung overthinking and the pressure and everything, tira ko na. Get the ball. I was like, okay, I gotta shoot this before everything, before I start overthinking. Okay. Minadale, 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 minadale. Okay, that was not the right idea, Mikey. That was not the right idea. I hit back rim. I think I hit back rim. 
That was not the right idea, Mikey. All right, it's all good. I still have two shots. I still have two shots, baby. I still have two shots. Let's go. Put yung Ateneo. Okay. Pina review yung play. Right after the first shot. Pina review nila. Sobrang talino nila na coach Sandy dun. Pina review nila after the first shot. So, meaning, sobrang tagal na lal. I didn't know what was happening. So, I was standing right at the free throw line while they were reviewing. I was looking at the rim. Nagre-review dun sa taas. I did not know na nagre-review. So, nakaganon lang ako. I was like, ang tagal. Like, give me the ball. I still have two shots. Give me the fucking ball. Give me the ball. In my head, okay, the first one did not work because minadali ko. I thought it was gonna work na hindi ko maiisip. So, okay, this second shot, I'm gonna take my time. Okay? I still have two shots. I need to make this. Tie the ball game up. Give me the next one. Wala lang pressure yun. If I make it, I make it, we win. If I miss it, we go to overtime. Let's go. Tagal. Tagal. Like, come on. Tagal. Ano ba nangyayari? Shit, nire-review pala. Okay. I leave the, I leave the, I leave the free throw line. I just walk around. I was like, okay, here we go. All right. We good? We good? All right. I was like, okay, let's go. Give me my second shot. The referee was like, Yo, look at the video. Look at the video. Look at the video. Look at me. Look at me. I was like, What? Isa? Kala ko dalawa. Isa na lang. Isa na lang, Mikey. Isa na lang. If you see my body language, I was like, Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Isa na lang. Isa na lang. And that was that. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. That was that. I was like, Fuck, isa na lang. Isa na lang, guys. <laughs> but, you know, that was that. And, the second free throw, I didn't even feel the basketball anymore. Like, it was, it was a choke job. It was a choke job, man. Ah, no, 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 no. And I wait, ah. Now, when people say it was a choke job, okay, I beg to differ. Like I said in my LeBron video, a choke job is you're scared to take the basketball. You're scared to shoot. I'm not justifying this, ah. Call it, call it, call it whatever you want. But to me... A choke job is if you hide from the basketball, not wanting that moment. Not wanting to be in that moment. That's a choke job. A choke job is fucking driving all through you to the rim and kicking it out to your to your teammate and that's all you. Ikaw nang tumira niyan. I don't want any part of that. Ikaw nang tumira niyan. Ang laya ko sinasabi kina Jeko, responsibilidad ko. I don't want to put you in a position na ikaw yung nandun because that just means I failed you. Kasi ako yung ano eh, ako yung, ako eh. Give me the basketball, let me be the goat. The goat meaning, let me be, ako yung nagpatalo ha, not the greatest of all time. Let me be the one who gives us a win or a loss. I will accept it. Ako ang magpapatalo. So, I don't see it as a choke job. I see it as I missed two free throws. But choke job? No. Give me the basketball. Today, bigay mo sa akin yung moment na yun ulit. Ako ulit, titira ulit ako. That's just the difference. That's just me. That's just me. But yeah, I missed it. Choke job. So, nung naging choke job siya, guys. <laughs> You'd be laughing, okay? You know how crazy uh, mentally strong I was during that time? Uh, how not, not mentally strong. You know how makapal I was during that time? Ito, hindi to joke. Tarong mo si Diego. <laughs> Pasok ako ng dugout. Ito, promise. Pasok ako dugout. Talo kami, di ba? Everyone was down. I was like, I don't want anyone to blame anyone else. Like, wala. Ako lang. Gusto ko, ako lang ang sisisihin ng tao. Papansin ako eh. Star ako eh. Ako lang ang sisisihin ng tao. I went straight to my phone. I'm not kidding. Ask anyone. I went straight to my phone. Got on Twitter because Twitter was a big thing back then. Blame me. Me, guys. Blame me. Don't blame anyone else. Kasi people were starting to be, to cut me some slack. Kasi syempre, di ba? I didn't want anyone to cut me some slack. Blame me, guys. Ako may kasalanan. Ako may kasalanan, guys. Ako, ako, ako. Kasi, coach was like, it's okay. Kung hindi uminit si Mikey ng fourth quarter, we wouldn't even be in that position. So, Mikey gave us a chance to win, although hindi lang niya na shoot. But it's okay. It's fine. Diba? No, I said, no. It was me. It was me. It was my responsibility to keep it close. And it's, it was also my responsibility to get the dub. 
I didn't get, I didn't, I did the first one, but the second one I didn't. Nope, blame me. So take, tweet ako agad, blame me. The post game. Jego, magkatabi kami locker lagi ni Jego eh. Ask him right now, man. Ask him right now. Jeg, you better confirm this story. Jego was like, shit. Mikey, tawag ka lang. You good, bro? You good? I'm not kidding, man. I was like, tumatawa ako. I was like, Jeg. Takin, hindi ko na shoot. Jeg, hayo. Hayo, hindi ko na shoot. Di ko alam, hindi ko na shoot. Pero okay ka lang. Oh, naman! Takin, okay lang ako gago. Takin, hindi ko na shoot, pare. So he was like, I think you're good. Like, it's fine. Like, I was like, yeah, I mean, I'd rather be the one who misses it than the one who didn't take it. Diba? So, I was laughing. I was legit laughing. Ask him, man. He was like, Nang inan to, tumatawa ka lang? Anong ba gagawa ko? Like, I missed the free throws. What do you want me to do? What can you expect from me? Nothing. Okay? So, I was laughing. Not because wala akong pake, but it was like, it's a miss, man. Everyone misses free throws. If you, if you've played basketball long enough, you would know na I miss free throws sometimes. <laughs> All right. So, pumasok yung media after dugout. I after pregame pumasok yung media. De syempre yung media ako, de ba? So nakahubad pa ako noon. Alala ko nakatwalya lang ata ako nung ini-interview nila ako eh. Okay. So Mikey, ano pa kaya I was like, yo, it's a choke job. I choked. That's that's that. What can I do about it? I choked. Just sinabi ko sa kanila yun, sa mga sa mga media ngayon na nandoon nung time na I really told them, write it down. Choke, I choked. Write it down, I choked. I'm not gonna make excuses. Write it down, I choked. Next question. Um, Mikey, anong pakiramdam na you dropped 15 points in the fourth quarter so you kept the game close. If it wasn't for you, hindi naman didikit ng ganun. <laughs> This is when I knew I could be a speaker and an analyst and a host and a writer. This is when I knew. So, Mikey, ano pa kay Ram? Anong masasabi mo na 15 points came in the fourth quarter? You went crazy in the fourth. I needed 17, man. <laughs> Whoa! Bro, if that wasn't the answer of the century, I don't know what is. So, Mikey. Anong pakiramdam? Like, you scored 15 points in the fourth. Yes, you didn't get the win. But still, 15 points in the fourth against the Ateneo Blue Eagles. How, how does it feel? What can you say about that? I needed 17, man. It doesn't matter. I needed 17. Ah! <laughs> Yo, legit. That was my answer. In the deep inside, I was laughing like, Ooh, damn! Coat that! Coat that! <laughs> Paglabas namin ng dugout, nakabihis na ako. I, I'm, usually, I'm usually the last to leave the dugout. Talagang last ako lagi. Leave the dugout, all the alumni, yung mga you nowhere know to go but up, si Natita Mage, inaakap ako, ganyan-ganyan. And they were like, yo, may dinner tayo sa ganyan, may dinner tayo sa ganyan. I was like, shit, I don't need a dinner right now. Like, I don't need, food, food isn't gonna make things better for me right now. Because I felt bad, di ba? Come on, I choked. Like, I choked. We could have won. And by the way, guys, the uh, nowhere to go but up, a uh, team promised that we would get an iPad. If we get one win, we get bonus. We got that nung bonfire win, so we got the bonus. Then they were like, okay, if you can get three wins this season, three wins lang, baba na standards namin na. If you get three wins, we'll all get you an iPad. The newest iPad, para pag nag aral kayo, whatever, we'll get the iPad. So in our heads, we gotta get one win before Adam soon ulit. Because if we get one win, and then that just means that if we win against Adamson, may iPad kami, and we really thought that was the win that was gonna bring us to another to a, to a chance for an iPad. So everyone was like, iPad na yon pare. <laughs> malaki bagay na yun dati. Ang ayon alam ko barya na lang yun sa mga college players ngayon. Pero dati malaki bagay yun. So again, sa 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 teammates ko nung time nyan, sorry, wala pa rin, hindi ko nabigay yung iPad sa inyo nung time nyan. Okay, I'm really really sorry. Okay. Labas kami. Nayayakap-yakap kami. Nayayakap-yakap ako, di ba? I was like, Tita, I mean, the, like, I don't need food right now. I mean, dinner is not, dinner is not what I need at this point. So I was like, I'm just gonna go to UP. I'm gonna shoot some free throws, get it off my head, you know, just being able to just see that I'm actually good at free throws. Di ko lang talaga na-shoot nung time na yun. So legit. And then JR Galliarza, my guy, was like, yo, I'ma go with you. I'ma rebound for you. Because JR was also like, JR had 18 points that day or 17, 16 points. So maganda rin nilaro ni JR nun eh. So we're both like, shit, man, if I made my free throws, fuck. So the whole car ride, JR was beside me. I was like, fuck, man. Like, fuck. Fuck, I should have made those free throws. Like, fuck. Diba? 
And Jared was like, damn, man. I really thought we were going to win. Like, Jared, Jared, though, in his head, he was like, okay. Like, okay, ngayon ko lang alala. Right before the free throws, Jared approached me and he was like, yo, I wouldn't want any other person to be taking these free throws right now but you. He said that. Legit. Um, now that that now that we think about it, Jeremy, you know, ka, hopefully, pala iba pala yung tumira nun. <laughs> but that's what he said. Like I'd rather ginaganon pa niya ako dito. I miss the free throws, Jr. <laughs> so me and Jr. go to UP old gym. And then we come in old gym, and then people were just looking at me like judging me. Like you just missed big free throws. Like I was like, damn, yeah, I know I did. I know I did. Okay, I know. Go to juniors nag shooting nung time na yun. I come in, guys. I made like. A thousand free throws that night. Low cap. Jer was Jer was was um, rebounding the whole time. A thousand free throws that night. Like a thousand free throws. And I was just like, Oh, kaya naman eh. Oh, pasok naman eh. Diba? So I, I just had to remember that, yo, you can actually hit free throws. You just really choked. Or you just really missed it at that specific time or that specific moment. Diba? So it sucks to this day, guys. To this day, people ask me about it. People bring it up. Like, alana ako magagawa, guys. <laughs> you know what the funniest thing is? To those who have been watching my videos the past couple of weeks, I know na experience yun to. Diba labas ng labas yung video na yun ng ABS-CPN, yung free throw school? So like me having a channel has actually given that video an extra 3K, 2K views. No cap. No cap. <laughs> so parang because nagka-channel din ako, naaalala nila yun. Di ba? Naaalala nyo yun. But you know, it's all good, man. Like, hindi naman ako ever napikon. Like, ang daming nag-ano sa akin. Like, si Natin, meron pa ako sa Magic 89.9, the free throw school of Mikey Reyes. Parang ganun. Di ba? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't something I took personal. But I'm gonna tell you this, though. I should have made those free throws, man. Should have made those free throws. <laughs> That's the story. Okay? That's the story. I'm not trying to entertain you guys. I'm just trying to let you know. It's my birthday. I can say whatever I want. If y'all gonna stick with that story, stick with it. If y'all decide or if y'all think I was bugging, if y'all think I was lying and I was sugarcoating everything, I wasn't. That was the story, man. You can consider it a choke job. But for me, I would take that. Like, I felt like it was my responsibility to take those free throws. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the free throw story, man. It is the first and last time I'm going to talk about it. First and last time I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. After this, kunento ko na talaga. Kunento ko, guys. So, you better hit that subscribe button. Thank you for the support, as always, guys. More basketball content coming your way in the next few days. So, let me... It's, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock, October 29th. So this is fr it's a Friday it's a, it's a Thursday right now so you're probably watching this on a Friday so happy birthday to me I'm 23 years old now and I'm still having fun <laughs> All right guys thank you very much for spending time with me once again there you have it the free throw story the most popular free throws in UAAP history don't lie they were <laughs> peace and love this has been Mike Reyes I'll see y'all very soon.